Hi everyone, now we are going to discuss question 7 where the function fx is given as the following. So notice that we have a modulus function x plus 1. So our first step, we need to define our x plus 1 in piecewise function. So it will equal to positive when it greater or equal to 0 and negative when it is less than 0. Then simplify it, we will get x plus 1 when x greater equals to negative 1 and negative x plus 1 when x less than negative 1. Now, we will draw our interval so that we can view our function correctly. When x less than 0, it is involving modulus x plus 1 where we can split it into the piecewise function negative 1 less than negative 1, it will be negative x plus 1 and more than negative 1 it will be x plus 1 at the point of the 0 here which is equals of 2 and more than 0 the function involving will be e power of negative 2x now we're going to answer our questions find the limit when x approaches 0 from the left hand side when x approaches 0 from the left hand side, we will select the function of x plus 1. It will equal to 1. Then we find the limit. When x approaches 0 from the right hand side, approaches 0 from the right hand side, it will be involved the function of e power of negative 2x. Substitute x equals to 0, it will become e power 0, which is equals to 1. Therefore, we can answer that limit approaches 0 of a function. Since we can see that limit approaches 0 from the left hand side of this function equals to the limit approaches 0 on the right hand side, finally, limit of the function when x approaches 0 is equals to 1, which is assist. Hence, we need to determine whether the function is it continuous as x equals to 1. So when you want to determine the function is it continuous at x equal to 1, we need to do the continuity condition. So for the first condition f0 which is equals to 2. Then for the second condition limit as x approaches 0 of this function, this is equals to 1, the result from our previous part. And then for the condition number 3, the f0 must be equals to the limit. So we see here, this is not same, means that our reason will be because of the f0 does not same with the limit approaches 0 for this function. Therefore, I can say that this fx is not continuous at x equals to 0. So when one of the conditions does not fulfill, the function will not continuous. So when you want to make sure a function continuous or not, you must fulfill that three condition of the continuity. Now we are going to see where's the important step that you must not miss up. The first one will be how do we express our modulus function into a piecewise function where here you will get one mark. And then following the question, answer the limit when x approaches 0 from the left hand side, you will get one mark here and limit for the x approaches 0 from the right hand side, you get another mark. So since, since you give the reason here, left-sided limit and right-sided limit, they are same. Therefore, we conclude that this limit of a function when x approaches 0 exists. Then, to determine whether the function is continuous or not, we notice that this is your reason where the point is not equal to the limit so the answer it will not continuous at x equals to 
zero. That's all.